All right, guys, I'm stepping on the scale right now, then I'll show you. Regardless of the number, my body looks really good because I ate so healthy and 81 kilograms, um, up one kilogram. Well, guys, yesterday, remember that big curry I had? It was literally this thing full. And let me show you what I cooked. I'm about to cook right now. It's um, around noon. I'm gonna start eating earlier in the day. That's something that Cole Robinson always says is good. And I agree. Because my sleep's been really bad lately and it's probably because my stomach was full of curry last night. And guys, people have been saying like, where'd your abs go? They're kind of back, take a look. Here, I looked pretty good. Let's look one more time. So remember, I did shoulders yesterday at the gym and legs. But I woke up this morning and I was pretty happy with my stomach. It's funny, my girlfriend said it looks like a turtle shell, which is actually a bodybuilding term. So I, that was, she's always pretty clever. So like, that means like you kind of have the abs sticking up. You guys can see the line from the side. But it's like brown. Because guys, yesterday I had 1.5 liters of cola diet. And I had a lot of water and I had all that curry. So let me show you what I'm actually cooking. Take a look. Uh, this was one large potato. It's about uh, 500 grams a pound. Here are three large carrots, cut Asian style, like at a slant like that, so it absorbs more surface, so it has more surface area and absorbs more juices. Here is one whole onion, and then I've got a layer of garlic on top. That goes in first. And this is what a rotisserie chicken looks like after you've stripped it all off the bone and pushed it down a bit. This is 600 grams. This is 144 grams of protein. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, drink some coconut water, which has carbs. Then I'm going to go to the gym. And while all this is stewing, I'm going to be at the gym working out. I'm going to finish and come back and then eat it. So that's my plan. Because this tastes better if you stew it for like one or two hours. But yeah, I felt really great yesterday, but my sleep was terrible. I slept at 5 in the morning, and I woke up at like 11 in noon. Alright, let me cook this now. Alright, I'm heating up the oil, which is what you should always do. Make sure the oil is warm, hot, before you do anything. I've got some green tea here. This will help wake me up. Give me some good antioxidants and all that green tea nonsense. And I've also got some coconut water here. I'm going to drink about half before I go to the gym. I know it's not really enough carbs to like make a difference or anything. But it'll give me a little bit of carbs. And I'm not going to finish it because I want to drink this afterwards. I love coconut water. So I don't want to finish it all right now. Fast officially started. So I guess because I'm going to cook for a, while, a long period of time and then work out in the middle of the cooking, uh, my eating window is going to be about three or four hours because I want to have carbs before the gym. And if the carbs before the gym give me benefits, I'll keep doing it. If it doesn't, I'll stop it. But yeah, my stomach is huge today, guys. I've still got like two pounds. I've still got like a kilogram of curry in there. I haven't used the bathroom yet. I just lost weight last night while I was sleeping just through breathing. Alright, um, so I dumped in the onions and garlic, and you guys can see it's quite a lot. Take a look. But this stuff cooks down to like absolutely nothing. And I'm pretty embarrassed about how messy my kitchen was yesterday, so I cleaned the counter, I cleaned the wall, I cleaned the stove, I did a lot of cleaning. And again, it wasn't like dirty, it was just like old vegetables. Which I, maybe that might be dirty, who knows. So yeah, I do lots of uh, cutting and chopping. So there's always like little vegetable pieces about. Although it is good to be clean. I've noticed I've never seen a roach or any kind of like insect when I keep things spotless. I mean, that's pretty common sense. All right. Here, I'll let this cook down. Then I'll show you how small it is. Then I will add the vegetables, then the curry. So today I'm making um, yellow curry, yellow curry. Alright guys, the onions have been cooking for about five minutes. They got a lot smaller. They're taking on a nice color. Let me show you. And now I'm going to add the curry. So you add the curry before the vegetables, I think. And that just allows it to wake up. 
And guys, you notice I always use this really simplistic language. It's because I've been living abroad for 10 years, and I don't use specific language anymore. I use general language that everyone will understand because, you know, it's just nice for people to understand you. I mean, when I speak to Americans or people that are native speakers, I speak, you know, I get my vocabulary up a bit. But for the most part, until I know you speak great English, I speak in this more general sense. That's not like looking down on anyone. That's just me using my experience of living abroad for 10 years and speaking in a direct, simple way. All right, so I've added in the curry. And people often thank me for it. They're like, wow, it's really easy to understand you. Because I hear there's lots of like Europeans and Russians and people are like, Thai people are like, wow, it's so easy to talk with you. I'm like, yeah, I'm a teacher and I just know how to speak to non-native speakers. All right, so the curry's in there. And again, I'm loving my stomach today. I'm two pounds bigger, one kilogram more, but I'm definitely losing fat and that's all that matters. All right, so the curry's in there. You want to like mix it around quite a lot with the onions and garlic so the moisture gets in there. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. And I think you just do it until it's fragrant, which is basically how Chinese cooking works. You add in the vegetables, the herbs, the spices until it's like very fragrant. Then you can add in the meat, you can add in the other things. And guys, this is uh, different than normal curry because normally you brown the meat first but my meat is uh, pre-cooked from that rotisserie chicken, so the steps are a bit weird. All right, it smells pretty fragrant right now. I'm gonna add the potatoes, and I'm gonna add the carrots. If my younger self saw how many vegetables I ate, he would be so confused. I literally did not start eating vegetables until I was like 20. Like, I had such a immature palate, like, just such a young sense of taste. It was annoying. My mom always sees me cooking vegetables and stuff now, and she's, like, really happy. <laughs> it's funny. All right. And with that, I'm going to add 500 ml of water. I usually don't use a whole lot of water when I make things, like noodles or soups, because I like more of a chunky taste. But I'm going to do 500 And I cover this when I cook it, because covering keeps the moisture in, since I'm using less water than is called for. I'm going to add a little bit more. Use my favorite Fiji water. I'm joking, this is just boiled tap water at this point, I'm just reusing the bottles. Alright, and let's cut it from there, okay? I'm just going to mix it around, then I'm going to cover it. Alright guys, I've added the vegetables, now I'm putting in the chicken. I'm just kind of tearing it into pieces that I like. And I'm eating the really good dark meat right now. Because <clears throat> the white meat is going to get good, just because it's in the curry. So I'm eating the most delicious looking pieces for myself right now. Take that away, eat later. I'm going to go to the gym in about 15 minutes when all this is done. I'll put it on low heat. And yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Alright, nice. So I'm just adding in all the chicken right now. Tearing it into uh, bite-sized pieces that I like. And cut. Look how fantastic this is. It's a giant pot, like this big, full of one potato, three carrots, and a ton of chicken. This thing full of chicken. And I'm making yellow curry. This should be really fantastic. I need to cover it soon, and I'm just trying to push down the chicken now. I'm going to cover it and go to the gym. And I got the best meat off of the chicken, all this dark meat. I'm going to eat right now. Yeah, this will all get smaller when it's cooked, so I'm just going to cover it. Guys, I was at the gym for 45 minutes. I've had it on level 2, and it's just been cooking the whole time. Looks like I need to stir it around, mix the oils. And this is pretty much what I want. I'll do a poke test with a fork right now to determine the vegetables and how done they are. Just grab this out. All right, that penetrated really easily. The carrots are definitely done. And the potato, definitely done as well. The chicken was already done. This is ready to eat. 
I'm just gonna turn it on a level one. I'll just turn it off, I guess. So I'm turning off the heat. It's still kind of watery, actually. So I covered it because I wanted it to not lose any water. Now I'm gonna keep it cooking on level one for a bit. Turn on my vent so my apartment doesn't smell like New Delhi. And I'm just gonna let it cook for another 30 or 40 minutes. So cooking without the lid makes it lose water, it makes it more thick. So see all the steam coming off right now? That is tiny little water particles that are leaving. All right guys, I finished making my yellow curry. I used carrots, potatoes, and a whole rotisserie chicken. Um, it should be about 1,200 calories, just like the thing yesterday. Oh, and I just finished my workout. I've got my coconut water here. Today I did biceps, and my arms are really dead right now. I'm super tired, and back. Like up here, back. Oh man. The weather was rainy today, so I didn't go to the gym. Sorry, so I didn't go to the beach. And I'm pretty happy with my um, size today. You guys can see I still have some stomach when I sit down, like the rolls. But my love handles are getting much smaller. My arms are looking in better shape. And everything's going in the right direction. I honestly should do a two or three day fast, that would help a lot, but healthy OMAD is good enough, it takes a long, it takes a longer time, but it makes me not go crazy I guess, fasting is hard, you know, it makes you worry about everything. Guys, my problem when I start fasting is like, I'll stop drinking water because I don't want the scale to stagnate or go up, so that's not really healthy for me, so I just need to do shorter fasts and healthy OMAD. I mean, I could easily eat like this every day. I don't need rice or anything like that. All right, I'm just gonna eat this and enjoy my day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I'm trying to eat earlier. You'll notice it's still daytime right now. I'm gonna finish eating by four o'clock for sure. And hopefully just start eating in the mornings or afternoon. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.